Greetings, my name is Drew, and I'm here once again at the Goulet Pen Company today to talk to you a little bit about the new Visconti Tuscan Hills Homo sapiens. And not only that, we'll be talking about some of the other Homo sapiens in acrylic, not lava, that have come out in years past. So let's get into it. And here we are, folks, the Visconti Tuscan Hills Homo sapiens the latest and perhaps greatest entry in the Homo sapiens resin models, which have been around for quite a long time. The lava pens are obviously their most iconic pens, but the resin thing, they've been doing for a very long time, so uh, we shan't sleep on that. In here, you'll get some information about your pen as well as some literature, and it'll tell you that it has palladium plating on the trim, and it'll tell you that it is a double reservoir power filler, and it'll tell you a few other things that we're going to talk about right now. So starting from the top, it does have the V logo here at the top, which is a magnetic medallion that you can remove with a pretty strong magnet and replace it with stones or other things that Visconti provides in their My Pen system. And then straight down, we've got the clip, the spring-loaded, provide my, uh, I forgive my inky fingers there, spring-loaded Visconti bridge clip, which has this beautiful green back filling of the Visconti lettering in this case, since we're dealing with a green pen here, folks. And obviously the trademark double trim ring on the cap that is, uh, I believe, evident in all the Homo sapiens. So, hook safe lock. The locking mechanism is super fun, super practical. It has a spring-loaded inner cap that presses up against these notches here on the side, which correspond with notches there in the cap, keeping your ink nice and wet, ready to write, even if you decide to neglect it for a little while. It's okay. One thing you might notice as we make our way down the barrel is that you see a little white thingamabobbers there, and that is the gasket, the piston, the piston gasket. So if I unscrew the piston knob here, this is a double reservoir power filler, meaning vacuum filler. So you saw that kind of move a little bit. Now it's unseated from its sealed position. So it is no longer sealing off the main chamber from the rest of the pen. Um, if it was left in that position, you'd only be able to write with what's in this second double reservoir. So if you remove that, you'll see the piston disappear because now it's there. So obviously this pen is semi-translucent. It is not a demonstrator per se, but I mean, it's demonstrating the piston, I guess. But anyway, you put this down and pressure, 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 boosh, and then vacuum pressure will whoosh all the ink up into your barrel and you will be ready to go. If you wanted to write continuously, you would use it just like this with this wide open. However, since it's a double reservoir, you can screw this all the way down and you will still have a ton of ink in that second chamber. And honestly, these feeds hold a ton as well. So then you'll be ready to go. It is an 18 karat gold nib made in Italy at Visconti. So this is one of their in-house made nib, nibs, which uh, is fairly new for them. It is not easy to make your own nib. So kudos to them for giving that a shot. Um, I'm sure that it will continue to improve overall. I do think that it's been an improvement. I've, uh, I've enjoyed them. So moving on. I'd like to talk about some other Homo sapiens. So we've got our Tuscan Hills. We've talked about the Tuscan Hills. It's a lovely pen, semi-translucent, but not quite a demonstrator. However, if we go over here, we're going to see the Midnight in Florence Homo, sapi Homo sapiens. And this one is more translucent. You can see the full piston in this one, and it's got spots throughout. So much more demo-y if that is your thing. And likewise, the Blue Lagoon Homo sapiens, also very demo-y. And you, this one even more so. They vary a lot. Anything with swirls is going to vary, so you know, you're going to get something unique. These three are currently available. So if this was not your jam, if you wanted something a little more demo-y, these two are currently available. So we've got three currently available Homo sapiens in resin right now. So maybe you're more of a green person. Maybe you don't really dig the whole clear look. The, the Tuscan Hills might be the thing for you. Now, if we want to go way back in time, we can go all the way to the beautiful London Fog Homo sapiens, which I remember um, carrying this. And this was uh, this this one was actually a, a pen of someone who works here, so I had to clean it. Uh, I won't name names. We can call him Schmryan, Schmrule. Um, but, um, yeah, it was super inky. But it's okay now. 
because I cleaned it, and now it's just wet. But it's a beautiful pen, and you can see that along with the older Florentine Hills, they started with kind of like a ribbony sort of effect in their demo resin Homo sapiens, and then went with a more swirl effect, which I don't know which one I like better. This one's my favorite. I'll tell you that right now. I love the Florentine Hills pen. I want it. I might steal this from uh, said coworker Shmurai and Shmule, but no, I won't deprive him of such a beautiful pen, but I love this pen so, so much. I think it's beautiful. And I don't know if I like the ribbony stuff or the new swirly stuff. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what you prefer because um, I will uh, not really do anything with that information. But <laughs> I, still want, I still want to know. So do let me know. And if you have any other thoughts, please let me know. I'll check them out. Or if you're curious about any of these three pens, you can find out more on our product pages. We've got weights, me weights measurements, all that cool stuff, and a ton of really great photos as well. So thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate every view, and I will keep on being Drew, and you keep on being you, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.